This episode was brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on hackerarsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. I'm Marley Oxenholm from Pentester Academy TV, and welcome to our show, Access Point, where we spotlight cybersecurity companies and give an inside look at the people and technology behind the latest advancements in the industry. I'm joined today by Aviram Jenik, who is founder and CEO of the company Beyond Security. Thank you for joining me today. Thanks for having me, Marley. Absolutely. I'm excited to uh, learn more about the company, so uh, let's get started here. All right. All right. So what is the founding story of the company? How did you guys get started? Well, uh, my, my co-founder and I, my co-founder is Noam Redhouse, uh, and we set to start up a cybersecurity company. Um, at that time, that was, that was back, that was a long time ago. That was back in 1999. And what we were looking at was a lot of security products, and they were all promising to be, uh, uh, you know, the, the latest and greatest to, to solve all the problems, right? You, you know how security products are. They were, they were all saying, you know, if you use us, you know, we'll, we'll fix everything and you won't have to worry about uh, any security problems. Mm-hmm. And, you know, naturally, we, we used to be always found security holes in those products and there would be more products and so on. So my, my co-founder said, you know, why, why don't we go a different direction? I mean, we don't want to, um, you know, sell this product, uh, develop a product and work hard on it and sell it and tell everybody it's the best and, and, and greatest. and It's going to solve all the problems just, just to be embarrassed by somebody finding security holes in our mm-hmm. product, right? So why don't we do the opposite? Why don't we be the ones that find security holes in other products? So in other words, why don't we develop tools, right, that, that can find these security holes so that people will know if they're vulnerable or not, how they're vulnerable, and then once we know exactly how they're vulnerable, it's pretty easy to have them fix it. Very so, nice, yeah. Yeah, and, 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 and plus, you know, kind of off the record, it's pretty cool, right? I mean... We can, we can focus on finding security holes rather than... Mm-hmm. That's a smart way uh, to go about it. Absolutely. Yeah. It is. Now, it is. It is pretty fun. Yeah. And so now what exactly does the company do? What would be the elevator pitch? Right. So, so we, we develop uh, security testing tools or automated mm-hmm. security testing tools. And, and the idea is that if there is a device out there, if it has a computer, it doesn't matter if it's a network, web application, uh, uh, an automated car, right? Mm-hmm. Anything with a computer inside and it has a security hole, we have the tool to find the security hole that's there. Whether it's during development, in production, after, after production, after deployment, um, all of that. We've got, uh-huh. we've got tools to find vulnerabilities in all those things. So if, there's, if, so if, you've, got, uh, if you've got a computer or a computerized anything and it has a security hole, we, we will find that security hole for you. Very nice. Okay. And now, what would you say is unique about your solution compared to other solutions out there? Right. So I think, I think the main, there's, there's a couple of uh, main differentiators. And, and the, the number one is the fact that we do aim to cover everything. So mm-hmm. we're, we're not, we're not going to come and say, hey, you know what? We only do uh, network testing. But if you want to do web application testing, well, you know, you got to go elsewhere. Because mm-hmm. you, you're, you just want to know about security holes, right? You, you don't want to be... Uh, you you don't care if it's if it's here or there or in another place. You, you just you come to us and you say find find me my security hole, mm-hmm. right? So so we're, we're we're literally the only vendor that says if there's a security hole, we need to find it. And if we didn't, we messed up. So so number one is our coverage is the fact that we can really cover everything from development all the way to production. And and this, and the second is the automation. So we started out as I said as a company that developed tools. So we, we, we tried, we aimed to replace the human. So it wasn't, it wasn't supposed to be used by a human and then automated. It was originally designed to be automated. So we really, really want these tools to be easy, automated, so that, that anybody, literally anybody can take them and find security holes in, in, in products. Wonderful. Okay. And now speaking of the human element, I'm wondering how has the threat landscape changed over the past few years, just in your opinion? So it's, it's been incredible. So, so when we started out, there were, there were about, and I remember it because I was a CEO, so I was supposed to write like this, this fancy business plan, right, about what, what are we set to do. So mm-hmm. at, that time, at that time, there were like maybe 300 security holes in the whole world. That's it. There were 300 problems everywhere. And I remember I, was, I, was, I figured, well, 
you know, companies will fix it, right? Those 300 security holes and then we'll be out of business. So I already figured, you know, we've got 18 months, maybe 24 months until we have to develop this new product because, you know, everybody's going to find all these security holes and fix them and, and that's it. And there'll be no more problems to find, right? <laughs> so, so, I mean, obviously things are so different today. I mean, we just, just to uh, give the, the order of magnitude of, of the change, right? So, so we probably add 300 new tests a month to every month. We add 300 new tests to our, to our um, products and to our testing tools. So at that time, that was all there was you know, in the world. And now there's like 300 new ones a month and, and, and it's getting more and more frequent. So number of security holes um, obviously are, is increasing in, in, in a exponential rate, but mm-hmm. also... I, you know, I keep talking about computing devices. So, so we used to say, we used to call something a computer, right? We used to know what a computer was, right? Mm-hmm. But if, you, if you've got a watch today, it's a computer. And if you've got a phone, True. it's a computer. And some people have computers in their cars and their light bulbs. And, you know, who knows, who knows what else? So, and, and, and of course, pacemakers. And it's, the list is growing and growing. So the, the, the threat landscape is growing both in, in depth it's just there's there's more and more and more problems, and also it's it's getting wider and wider. So things that were not computers really before, like you wouldn't consider your lamp a computer, but you know it's it's gonna be very soon. And and your refrigerator mm-hmm. and your air conditioner. Refrigerator. Right? Yeah, I was just gonna say, yep, yeah, that's the next yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So and 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 the Nest, right? The air conditioning. So. Um, so it's, it's getting, it's getting wider. It's, and it's fascinating. And, and the implications for security are, are obviously, um, quite interesting. Absolutely. I agree with you, especially about the exponential growth every day of, uh, new threats out there. Uh, yeah. now I'm wondering who uses beyond security. What does your customer base mainly look like? So because we sell automated tools, we, we actually cater to customers in all sizes. So we've got, uh, you've got huge fortune 100 customers. We've got, you know, just to give you an idea, so that the, so the U.S. military uses our tools. To Very test their nice. Network. Okay. You know, this is what we we mean when we say military grade tools, right? But but it goes down. But the same tools are used by by medium sized businesses and even small sized businesses. So uh, it's it's really from like the 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 basic e commerce website through the the medium sized company up to the Fortune 100, up to the very very large companies. And this is because we, we, we have automated tools. They're very scalable. They're very simple to use. So, you know, if you, again, if you've got a network, if you've got computers and you're worried about security holes, which, you know, I guess pretty much everybody is, um, then, then, then you, you, you probably need to use uh, a, a, us or, or a tool like ours to, to test your network. So mm-hmm. uh, it's really, I mean, what we found is our, our sweet spot and, and, and what we like is kind of the, the, medium sized enterprises, small and medium enterprises, uh, where they're kind of trying to deal with these threats, but they don't have the expertise, right? They may have, you know, a, you know, just one person or maybe a very small team to deal with all these security threats. And, and mm-hmm. these, these people are, you know, overwhelmed, right? They're bombarded by all these things that are happening around them. And what we try to do is say, you know what, let's, let's do a checkup, right? Let's, let's pause it a little bit. Let's take a breath. Let's see what the problems are. Let's let us try and guide you through, you know, how to fix them. And, and this is what we like to do best. Absolutely. That sounds great. And now speaking of customers, I was wondering if you could give an example of how your solution was able to help a customer in the past. Yeah. So, um, so, so probably one of our best case studies is uh, a fortune 500 company. So a fairly, very large customer uh, from the energy sector. And the, the problem they had was they had a lot of different uh, subunits, right? Or organizations and, and subsidiaries in a mm-hmm. lot of places around the country. And the, the, the CISO was going out of his mind trying to figure out like what's happening in all these locations, right? So that, you know, they've got all these networks, they're all connected, right? Mm-hmm. They all need to work together. I mean, this is what we're doing with IT nowadays, right? And he was, but he had no idea if, if somebody's plugging in um, something into the network and getting everybody infected, which, which is going to affect the, you know, the whole company, right? Mm-hmm. So what, what's, what's, uh, what he liked about our solution, I guess, is, is the fact that it's um, um, very decentralized. It's very distributed. So 
it's, it's very easy to place sort of these little probes, little scanners all around the country, even in, in really small locations, you know, even if there's one or two people there, they don't need to be managed. So once they're installed, you know, they just run. And the CISO can get a uh, sort of overview of everything that's going on everywhere in the network. So they can see all the different threats, you know, everything that's happening, where the weak points are, you know, mm -hmm. who's not doing their job, who is doing their job, you know? So, and they could, they could literally, you know, pick up the phone and, and, and call, um, uh, you know, um, some, some, play, some remote location and say, hey, you know, we noticed something's going on in your network. We noticed you've got these, these issues there, you know, can go, you know, go now and, and patch it. So this, this idea of being proactive, of not waiting for the accident to happen, mm -hmm. you know, but rather kind of do those checkups. And this is what we do, like, you know, if we're healthy people and, and we're doing and we're managing our health correctly, this is what we do, right? We go to a doctor, we do a checkup and, and the doctor says, you know what, you're okay now, but maybe your cholesterol level is, is, is rising. So, mm -hmm. hey, if you do a little more of this and a little less of this, you know, you're going to be healthier. This is what we want to hear. We don't want to hear, wow, you know, you're, you're on the verge of a heart attack. You know, you're going to, you're going to. Uh, it, it, you need you need an operation like in the next twenty four hours. That's not what we want to hear. Right? right. That's such a good point. Yes, absolutely. It's yeah, amazing so, what so, some small preventative measures can really do. Exactly, which is which is especially true in security. Absolutely. And so now yeah. I'm wondering, as all of these threats continue to advance, how does your team manage to uh, consistently keep up with all of these advancing threats? Yeah, so, so we've got a research team, and one of the things we are doing is we actually have a zero-day uh, disclosure program. So a lot of security researchers contact us and tell us about um, still undisclosed zero days. We, we mm -hmm. have access to that. Uh, we monitor you know, all the different channels, forums, um, and, and again, do our own research to try to find these new security holes as they come up. So we, we're definitely on top of you know, any new thing that comes up. The, the whole idea is to um, try and, and, and be able to test for anything new before it becomes public. So if we can make uh, the security person a hero, you know, what usually happens is, uh, so the CEO will hear on CNN about this new worm or this new ransomware mm -hmm. or something like that, right? So the CEO will call his, the security guy and say, hey, have you heard about this new threat? So if we can, if we can give, uh, if we can let the security person tell his CEO, oh yeah, I've, I've not only ever heard about it, I already checked for it and, and we're safe. I fixed it. You know, it's, it's old news. I'm already on top of it that we made them a hero and that, that, that makes us look great. So, so we do this research all the time. We try again, proactively and, and preventatively. Those are probably the most important, um, the benefits that we can provide an organization uh, mm -hmm. and we do it through a lot of research and, and development. Wonderful. Okay. And now uh, my last question is what does the company roadmap look like for 2018? So I think there's, there's two things we we're going to try and focus on this year. So number one is, is more network coverage. So there, what, what we're, what we're going to focus on is those blind spots uh, which exist in a lot of organizations uh, because we noticed that, um, one of the issues a lot of security people have in organizations is they, they can only test what they see, but they don't necessarily see everything. So we, we, kind of, we, you know, we kind of focus on the things we think are important, but then what about, maybe, did we forget a part of the network? Did we forget a, you know, a server that, that's, been, that's been out there you know, too long and nobody knows about? Uh, those, you know, it's, it's, we always say, you know, what you don't know, is what will get you right. Mm. What you can't see, what you can see is is um, how you'll be defeated, right? At the end, that's that's the worst enemy is the one you can't see. So, so we're working hard on blind spots. That's the first thing, and then the second would be remediation. So, um, more focus on remediation. And I'm not gonna um, spill the beans on everything that we're gonna do, but yep, sure, sure. It's gonna, it's gonna be a lot towards uh, making remediation easier, so that we can say, you know, here are your problems, but why don't you help us? Why don't you let us fix them for you? Wonderful. Well, Aviram, thank you so much for sitting down and sharing all this with me. This was really informative and eye opening. I appreciate it so much. Absolutely. Thank you, Marley, for the questions. They were great. Thank you so much and take care. And I'm looking forward to seeing more from you guys in the future. Thanks so much. All right. Take care. 
Also make sure to subscribe to our YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook so you don't miss out on any of the latest cybersecurity news. This episode is brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on hackerarsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.